going live going live you're live hello everyone i'm santiago santiago and today i'm gonna be testing dragon stock ma 2 on the gtx 1650 rtx 3050 3062 gigs and the gtx 1050 ti after all that we're going to do the steam deck so wish me luck so before starting the game I want to check out the requirements because I think it's very important message. So apparently the game is CPU limited, heavily CPU limited. Minimum processor is an i5-10600 and a Ryzen 5-3600, which are not the same CPU. They are not run the same. But here it says estimated performance in p 30 and on the recommended it says 4k 30 so nothing about 60 usually when you target 60 your cpu usage goes pretty high so i'm guessing reading the requirements that we're going to be pretty yeah pretty hard on the cpu let's leave it at that mine should be above the requirements so let's see what happens how's it going guys see see probably hate livers say and the genial. Yeah, and after this we do the Steam Deck. So Dragon Sogma 2 is another RE Engine game, but I think okay, it's compiling shaders. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Uh, are you going to start with 1050Ti? No, I'm going to start with the 1650 and end it with the 1050Ti. Unless the 1650 runs it like like absolute garbage. At that point, I do the 1050Ti and then the other cards. How many gigabytes it was? 60 gigabytes. Let me see the installed size. Just to be sure. Yeah, installed is still 60 gigabytes. I'm going to go full screen on this one, I think. There we go. So it's compiling shaders. Give it some time. It seems to be half, almost halfway through. So good, there's a shader compilation before the game launches. And it's an RE Engine game, so I'm expecting lots of um, VRAM usage. And after reading the system requirements, I would say a lot of CPU usage as well. I heard this game is single-threaded, uses at best two or three cores. Well, we're about to find out. Many new games have shader pre-compilation. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't require a strong CPU. It just means the first time you boot it after changing a driver is going to take longer if you have a slower CPU. No big deal. I'd rather have that than constant stutters. Could imagine that you're using hard drive the time this talking. No, I'm not using a hard drive. I don't have hard drives anymore. I, I use them on my home server to store my videos but that's about it by the way i'm going to be using an xbox series controller i don't think this is a game to play with mouse and keyboard personally okay cds are demanding gotcha okay yeah i mean the shader compilation also has to be done correctly when the last of us part one released it was like three or four hours. Sorry, like 40 minutes to an hour, and I had a very powerful CPU. Okay, we went through the shader compilation, our engine. Sure. Hopefully, the pattern is barely visible. Until the center disappears. Oh my god. It's not going to be good. And your age, 27. Whoa, how <laughs> I can go for zero or 99. Let's go for five. No, I don't want to read the web page. Network features, no thanks. Okay, Dragon's Dogma. Let me disable the music first. Sorry about that. 
is for my own my own um <laughs> safety okay graphics quality low and we're at 720 so let's do 1080p first then vsync off there's fsr3 interesting i don't see any okay let's continue render mode progressive or interlaced this is a classic thing i don't think it looks good on interlaced image quality okay i'm not sure if this means 100 percent or this is 100 percent this is confusing should be more clear um i'm into inclusion sdfao off ssao okay never saw the second one actually that's odd taa reflections on rough okay mesh quality this is going to be important let's put it on medium and isotropic filtering on eight times texture quality let's keep it on high one gigabyte grass is either high or low what the hell resource intense effects quality Ooh, this looks intensive let's keep it shadows whoa low medium high max medium looks okay shadow cache yes contact shadows why not motion blur no thanks depth of field for the cutscenes no chromatic aberration thank you very much motion quality i don't know what this is okay a good amount of options there's also dynamic resolution but what we're going to do is quality fsr3 and then we'll see what happens so wish me luck medium to low fsr3 quality and we'll try dynamic resolution later all right we'll see what happens fingers crossed I'm targeting 30 right now. We're below the minimum requirements, by the way. The minimum is uh, 1070. And I'm skipping all the cutscenes. Imagine if it crashes. I don't need to imagine. Trust me that I've seen crashes from the get-go. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name. Okay, already looking at a wall with three characters in a cave is 30 FPS. That's looking pretty good. Aha, uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. Oh man. Yes. Okay. Of course, we need a woman for audience retention. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. How can I continue? They give me so many options. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Muscle type 20. There's 23 types. What? That's insane. There we go. Ugh, strong. I see. Huge legs. I'm very strong. <laughs> this looks so weird. <laughs> and she's very tall. She's six feet. Yeah, let's keep it perfect. Yeah, sure. Let's continue. The rest doesn't matter. I have everything. 
vocation fighter archer hmm okay boys sure so i'm 20 my name is uh monica with a k and she and they call her abby <laughs> from the last of us I ill like that look in your eyes. It is clearly most of your kind. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This dialogue is 23 FPS. Come along, you feck. One or more add-ons added. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Inside a cave, guys. <laughs> I'm inside a cave. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> gotcha <laughs> okay <laughs> let's go for the lowest setting right away okay let's disable SSAO let's disable reflections <laughs> let's lower the meshes <laughs> let's lower the texture quality to medium 0 0.5 the grass and trees on low resource intensive stuff low shadow cache we need it contact shadows no we don't need any of that we don't need bloom we don't need lens flares and we don't need motion quality okay so <laughs> low FSR 3 quality. Fingers crossed. Oh my god. Okay. FSR is not saving us. 900p. What the... That works for me. Okay, 900p, same settings. Let's see what we can do. I can already see how this is going to end. Not well, <laughs> but that's fine. I think the game crashed actually. Yep, the game crashed. Oh no. Yeah, I'll have to use interlace rendering, despite it looking bad. But my game completely froze. That's a shame. It's a CPU issue. I mean, my GPU is maxed out. So I don't think... I gotta kill it. Sub-GPU. <laughs> it opened. It worked. No, it's completely dead now. There we go. Okay, great first impression. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens. 30 FPS log. We're not even hitting 30, man. And thank you so much, Marco Antonio, for the 20 Mexican pesos donation. He says, Stutter Dogma 2. <laughs> sure, why not? Jesus Christ. Can it run Dragon's Dogma? The GPU is right over my head. Hang on, let me check 900p. Okay, for some reason... Okay, instead of FSR 3, we're using interlace rendering, and let's see what happens. This should be visually not outstanding. 
uh, what can you do? So interlace rendering, 900p. Interlace rendering. Okay, let's go. At least thirties, please. <laughs> okay. I'm closer to thirty, but not quite. Okay. Better than nothing. I'll take it. Interlace rendering, by the way, is a very low resolution. Is a lower resolution. If you ever played one of the Resident Evils. The edges are not super nice. In this game, they look a little bit better than in Resident Evil, but still. <laughs> better than PS5? <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Holy hell. How do I run? Yeah, that term, in, you haven't heard it in decades. I understand. Yeah, I don't think it's... Interlace is like they, I don't know what they are doing, but it's something from the RE engine. They use it a lot in the consoles. <laughs> Scared to see the ray tracing? Me too, man. Me too. I just want to move faster. Yeah, it released uh, 38 minutes ago. There was no preload. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can finally move. Does the graphics justify the performance? We're about to find out, I guess. Hopefully on low, it looks good. Okay, gotta follow this guy. Okay, this is looking better now. I have a higher hope. Okay, it's 800 by 900, gotcha. I imagine the interlace had something to do with that. It's like the X, the X axis is cut in half. Okay, light, light, lantern. Does it cast shadows? Yes, it does apparently. Interesting. Is quite cluttered. So I need to go to work now. Oh, well, gotcha. That poses a hindrance to you. Wow, I'm very strong. I can jump with one of these big rocks. <laughs> Back to PS2 resolutions, baby. Hell yeah. Yeah, but that's pretty funny. Do I drop it here? A job well done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> finally something interesting. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Okay, dashing. Yeah. I see that I'm casting shadows from my. I mean, considering it's low settings, I still cast shadows from my flashlight. I cannot wait to try this on the scene deck. It will be a lot of fun. Observe your foes carefully. the situation demands. Okay, he's dropping below 30. <laughs> can I climb on it? Oh yeah I can. Still not good enough. Let's try FSR 3 instead of interlace rendering. So if I do not use interlace rendering, but I use FSR 3 on performance, maybe, just maybe. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, FSR 3 performance it is. Although it looks way, way worse than interlaced. Yeah, it looks a lot worse with FSR for some reason. I'll go back to interlace rendering. It's weird, in the Resident Evil games, with interlace rendering it looks awful, but on this one it's okay. So interlace rendering. And this thing with image quality, I'm pretty sure it's the resolution. So I'm not sure why they put this here without telling us any number. Let's keep it only on TAA. And I don't really know what else to adjust over here. <laughs> because it's already dropped to the minimum. Anyway, let's keep it like this and see if we can keep going. Well, it's not supposed to run in the first place, that's true. The minimum is at 1070, and uh, GTX 1070. But it's funny to see how it runs on this card. Yeah, it looks way better with, with interlace. But I mean, if here we drop below 30, imagine in an actual big fight. With a lot of... Uh, what's the name of this? Lots more enemies and effects. No, Sir Pilgrim, she has to moment in the sand. Come this way. Let us flee. Okay, it's time to move. Actually, considering it's slow, it's not so bad. It still has shadows. You must jump. That is the only You must way. jump. Oh no, guys, don't listen to the voices. Do, do not jump. The issue is CPU utilization. Have you seen the GPU usage in this game already? I mean, if we're targeting 60, I get the CPU limitation thing, but right now I'm entirely GPU limited. See, sí, basically, I'm coming. A griffin appears. One. Was it you then? The one who was. This is a wonder. You. Yeah, yeah, it was me. Okay, outside. It seems to be fine. Shadows look pretty blocky. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like. Okay, did it crash? Whoops, it crashed. I think it's a 720p game. Yep, 720p. So for the 1650, I think it's a good idea to go for 720 on this one. <laughs> Just looking out there. Boom. I've seen the chat for the 1650. The yeah, re-engine is known to crash when it's out of VRAM. Correct. I mean, in general, it is like that. Alright. Let me force the desktop to 720, just to make it easier for me. 720. We can now launch the game. 3050 can play it. Yeah, it should be fine. But I'll do the 1050 Ti first, just for the memes. Because it runs so great on this card, that the 1050 Ti should be having no issues whatsoever. Yeah, 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 a re-engine. Okay. So first, since uh, 1070 is an 8GB card, I'm guessing that the texture quality on here will be will have to go to the minimum. So we gotta go for the low 0GB option. 
Then when it comes to resolution, we, st we stick to 720. So this is 720p low with interlaced rendering. That is 50% on the X axis. Hopefully this makes the game not crash on us. Yeah, there's a zero gigabyte texture option. I mean, look at the, look at those walls. This is a zero gigabyte texture quality option. Just like Resident Evil 4. Still, I can hardly believe. It. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I I'm just seeing a mouse and keyboard. What an idiot. Man, the shimmer with the interlaced rendering is insane. I think I'd rather try native 720 and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hold to your seats. Okay, this looks much better. So we're now no upscaling although it does have a lot of shimmering oh no monsters goblins let's take up your weapon sir yeah 16 gigabytes of ram should be okay Yeah, as soon as effects any transparency shows up, the performance drops quite significantly. But the animations look pretty good. There's no lock on system. Do you guys know? Make use of this look. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. It drops so quickly. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Oof. I don't even know how to block. I'm absolutely useless in this game. <laughs> Oof, I died. Good. No, sale ahora. Ahora mismo en Steam. Guys, the game is available right now on Steam. Yeah, I mean, in comparison to the original, it does look a lot better. In that part, I agree completely. Despite the textures being trash and the shadows being flickery as hell. Let me double check that we are... Yeah, we're at 720 with this rendering instead of interlaced, TAA, and the rest is on the lowest. Not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. And you might say, oh, but it's on the 50s, increase the settings, yeah, but as soon as you get into combat, good luck. Oh my, I think it crashed again. It crashed. Jesus Christ. Okay. For the 1650, I would say maybe, maybe skip it on the 1650. Let me try it one more time. And we swap to the 1050 Ti just to see if the game launches. I'm guessing it will, but hey. Can the 1050 Ti even launch it? We're, we're about to find out. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> but it's insane how much of a performance impact it has over the previous RE Engine games. Okay, everything at the lowest. Let's even put this at the lowest. 
who cares at this point? Yeah, everything down. And let's keep it like that. Low reflex latency, yeah, sure, why not? There's also dynamic resolution, but I mean, I don't think it will do much. Especially if the game is crashing. Most of the games in Evolve were very halfway. Items to be scavenged. Hallway. Bodies of oh, I see. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. So as I was saying a minute ago before the game interrupted me with a crash. Let's just run away. As soon as you start any interesting combat whatsoever, good luck. With the performance, I mean. And hope to the gods of thunder that it doesn't crash. Yeah, VRAM is... well, now it's creeping towards 4 gigabytes. It's basically there now. You'll now summon your main pawn. Okay, sure. At all... At all dude. Vocation, he will be a mage. Inclination, he's straightforward. And let's continue. Okay. This world is connected. My kind is I, I chose a mage the because they get effects on screen. Well, That's what I care about. Arisen. Surely there's only the watch head would know. I suppose we'll save any further. What? Mayhap you could make the arisen. Is Developers safe. can rather take longer to release a game than an unfinished product. I got lost there. Okay, as you can see, as soon as I there's effects on screen, I dropped Hail. into the thirties. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer. Another time. Well, in towns, people in the um, reviewers community say that towns drop frames. Well, that's true. Inside a town, 30 FPS at 720p. So what I'm going to recommend for this card, apart from the lower settings, is that you go for dynamic resolution and your target should be 30. So dynamic rest 30 FPS. Okay. Although the frame times are not good with the dynamic resolution. So I don't actually trust this dynamic resolution system. <laughs> Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. So yeah, maybe use that or interlace rendering. But as soon as an effect shows up, it kind of dies. So you know what? Instead of doing dynamic rest, use the terrible interlace rendering. <laughs> And be done with it. Yeah, that give that gives you the ten extra frames that you need to stay above thirty. So yeah, it looks bad, the edges, I mean. But you should be at thirty FPS at the very least. Now, are you? You will at least rest for. Only don't go rushing off before. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Come now, don't be. This would work well on a 2060? Yeah, it should be fine. Just lower those texture quality options. Auto save data cannot be relied upon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Can I sleep? Hi there. You seem well. My pa always you. I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should stop by the inn. In in Melv, if you get. I have no issue falling asleep. Perfect. 
Can we try FSR? I just want to see, or we cannot use. I mean, you can use FSR, but you need to disable interlaced rendering. And honestly, FSR looks too sh too too shimmery in this game. Too sorry, too soft. Hey yo, we've had to start. Is that so, Lachlan? Yeah, yeah, is that so? I expect Ricardo. What? When? This is the first I've seen. You see, I suppose was a bit much. Okay. Can I go out now? Thank you. And as you can see, this is how you get 30s while fighting nobody. Home commands. Go! Attack him! Let's see, fire on screen. Okay. Alright guys. Do you have day one drivers? Of course I do. I always do. That pawn carry, lol. Yeah, the pawn is the best. Okay, there's some magic going on here. Go get them! Go fire them! Ooh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Oof. Dude, no, I need you. <laughs> Please don't die. <laughs> okay, I got him. Now, use your fire attack or something. Oh, this guy, he fell asleep. No, 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 no. Don't attack my pawn. There we go. Okay. Think I'd be so, first impressions, CPU when targeting 30 doesn't seem to be an issue. And the issue here, we are GPU limited, 100%. So, uh, my advice, if you want to play this game on a 1650, is either get a better GPU, or play at 720 with interlaced rendering, that doesn't look good. And everything on the lower settings. Except in Shadow Cache. You need that for extra performance. So if you want if you don't mind that, combat drops to 30, maybe below 30 when there's more characters on screen. Remember, this is the very beginning of the game. And then if you're in a town, it'll drop into the 30s as well, because towns are more complex. Man, my pawn saves me each time. He should be the hero. Enough. Are you and inside the town, we drop into the 40s. Too far. You would have me leave. Consider it done. <laughs> done so yeah, if you have a... 1650 don't play the game let's do the 1050 ti for the memes and then we'll try the rtx cards but man this one is rough <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> i mean i'm below the minimum requirements let's be honest here it was to be expected okay i gotta install my re reinstall my windows updates for some reason Uh, can someone say if the 1050Ti can run it? Not yet, but I have one right here. So as soon as Windows decides that the update is updated, <laughs> we have the 1050Ti ready, ready to do its job. Yeah, it died a long time ago for new games, but it's fun to still try it out. You know how I am.
That's how I work. We're going to swap for the 1050 Ti. Now, the 1050 Ti is way slower than a 1650, which makes it even more interesting. Basically, a meme on this channel right now. On such an intensive game like this. All right, round two. Predict and it will crash in instantly. We'll see. 1050 Di! Will the 4060 be fine with 450 watt PSU? Let me check. I don't know how much wattage 4060 Ti. Um, hmm, interesting. So NVIDIA recommends a 550 watt CPU, PSU for the TI. So maybe go 100 watts higher if possible. Is it not going to get past the interesting? Let's see. I mean, at the moment, it's not even getting into Windows, so... One sec. <laughs> Maybe it decided to die after Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs> Ten fifty Ti. Okay, I got an image. Good. RTX thirty seventy can work with seven hundred and thirty watts. Yeah, sure. Just make sure it's not generic power supply. Make sure it's something from a reputable brand to say it in some way. Ten fifty Ti is the new seven fifty Ti, maybe. Okay, dice mono banana. All right. Go, go, go! Let's see if it even launches. Okay, I'm seeing a black screen, that's good. Okay. I see the Capcom logo, that's a good sign. Okay, our re engine. Perfect. An example of a GPU. Or not. <laughs> Okay, I thought it already crashed. It didn't. It's compiling shaders right now, apparently. Alright, so 720. Interlaced rendering. This image quality thing, I'm going to decrease it even further. So it will look potato. Even more potato. Interlaced mode. And the image quality set 1, 2, 3. We at minus three because I'm guessing the middle is native and minus three is probably like sixty percent. We'll see. This is still below recommended. We're below recommended since the stream started actually. So we ha we have the zero gigabyte texture quality <laughs> and everything on low except in shadow cache that help us one sec <coughs> excuse me Whoa, that was a strong one so everything on the lowest interlaced and quite a bit of decreases in quality gracias Claro, sí, tiene sentido, Saurio. Gracias, señores y señoras. Okay. Yeah, I can see that this is a way lower resolution than before. And we're at 30 FPS outside the town. 
and I don't see anything wrong. The game looks completely fine, comparable to the PlayStation 5 version. What would you do without me, Arisen? Seems there's no room for argument here. I shall obey, but I won't pretend I'm happy about it. Yeah, with damage quality at minus three. Goblins approach. Okay, attack the goblins. Oof. Jesus. My <laughs> so yeah, commendable try, but not good enough. Yeah, I mean this would this would look bad even if it was a phone game. If it looked like this. So yeah, rip 1050 Ti. I mean it launches the game, it tries it be its best. But it has huge issues. I mean it works. The thing is, should you play like this? I don't know. That's up to each individual out there that still has a 1050 Ti. A battle avoided is a battle won, I suppose. Hey, I'm still fighting. Oh, fire. Oh my god. No, don't use the fire. It destroyed my frame rate. Oh my god. Those two pixels were very brave in the fight. I can see your opinion in your eyes. It's always there. If you got a 1050 TA, you should put the money for the game to buy a new GPU at this point. I agree. I mean, guys, it's eight years old. I'm taking it to GPU school on Monday. And inside the town, well, you drop. So yeah, it's been fun. 1050 Ti, F's in the chat, not 30 FPS. I can lower the resolution further just for the memes as well, but I want to do the RTX cards too. So I go to the absolute lowest. There we go. Now it's even more pixelated and it runs the same. I am attentive and loyal and prefer So to I can see those son. pixels talking In to each other. I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. So now what I'm going to do is go back to the main menu. Yeah, sure. And in the main menu, I'm going to adjust the settings for the 3050. The 3050 should be close to a 1070 in performance, as far as I know. It's all in the description. All right, so first thing first, we're going for 1080p. We're going for a 30 FPS configuration on the on the 3050. Oh man, this menu is broken now. Great. Quality, we put it on. Oh, okay, either low or high. Gotcha. <laughs> the graphics quality options are low or high. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, apply those. I quit the game. And we restart the PC. I don't know why the game left my screen like that, but that's fine. I'm not going to judge. The game knows what it's doing. Alright, next GPU, and there was an error message. <laughs> okay, 3050. I'm not even going to flinch right now. All right, 
3060, yeah, coming right after this one. Don't worry. It's sitting on the table waiting for me to summon it. See the CPU performance? Whoa, complaints that Captain acknowledged. Maybe. I'm guessing they're still there. I'm guessing that's for people targeting 60 and not getting there in towns, which would make a lot of sense. I haven't gotten to a big town yet, and so far with the two GPUs that I tried that are below the minimum requirements, we were GPU limited there, so it wasn't a good benchmark for the CPU stuff. But it's so funny to me that the game only has two presets, low or high, and it's like, okay, have fun. <laughs> Yeah, the 3050 is similar to a 1070 or 1660 Super. That sounds about right. First of all, we need the CPU, the, the CPU to compile the shaders. So give it a few moments. It's compiling. Only happens the first time you play the game. More like a normal 2060. Yeah, the 2060 is even faster, so. <laughs> That's funny. The difference between this and Horizon is night and day. I mean, yeah, but it's completely different engines, so who knows. I mean, just looking at the performance on the PS5 and the Series X, it was pretty clear that the PC version was going to be performing pretty poorly. Especially, I believe people when they say that the CPU performance is bad because if the consoles cannot reach 60s and Capcom doesn't offer a lower resolution option, it's probably CPU. Which CPU are you using? It's in the description. It's an i5-13500, I think, or 13600. It has like 20 threads, so... We're way above the PS5 when it comes to CPU. It's not a bottle. It's a six liter liter thing. Yeah, I mean it was clear it's going to be it was going to be CPU. When the consoles have issues on the CPU side, that's when games are CPU demanding. Except in if you are The Last of Us Part 1. which doesn't care about your CPU. He just tries. Big water. 4060 is kind of the same as the 3060 Ti. Yeah, I saw the video and, and it was like, what the hell? Ah, oh, Nvidia. Yeah, I hydrate a town in that. The town called Santiago. They rush the game? I don't know, maybe. I remember people asking for this game for like a decade. Maybe they rushed it in the end. Oh, yo, Leacito. Vivo en Uruguay, Cristian. Nunca pisé en ningún país que hable en inglés. <laughs> Siempre fui Uruguay. Uh, ¿Cómo creen que corran 5600? Debe irte bien en 1080. I'm glad you're still drinking Salus. Yes, that's the water brand that I drink. Okay, Capcom. I forgot to enable my controller. Okay, on this one we have 8 gigabytes of VRAM. It should be more than enough to render this game. I might check them out later. I want to first see how the game is in general. Okay, I selected the high graphics quality. There's the LSS, thank god, we're going to need it. And what is the ray tracing for? Okay, it's for global illumination actually. Interesting. I thought it was going to include reflections. We're going to try this later. <laughs> Alright. Textures. Let's put it on high 2 gigabytes. And let me double check the preset. I'm at 720p for some reason. 1080p, thank you. There we go. So 1080p. 
everything like this. I'm on the high preset. I better be. No, I'm not. Low, high. That's the only two options they give you. So high preset. Okay, I'll keep it on the high preset just as a reference. For some reason, the high preset has low grass. So that's how you know it's intensive. Motion blur, no. Chromatic aberration, no. Okay, high settings, 1080p. Let's go. Yeah, I know that mesh quality is still on medium, but it's part of the high preset. I want to have a baseline. Okay, it looks so much better. It's night and day. Although it's still very GPU intensive. For some reason my controls are getting a bit laggy. Are I mean the shadows are way softer. But we're still GPU bound. We're going to try 60s later, of course. Yeah, you're saying 40s, but remember that we're not in a big battle with lots of effects. So, that's the thing. Now, 60 FPS on that CPU, Omicron, I don't think so. At least not in this game. Okay, in the city we seem to be fine. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Hi. Is there all you require, sir? We're running low. We've had a hard time procuring goods. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. To gather, say, yeah. Could I trouble you to run an errand? Uh, I suppose I can't. Okay. Okay. So there are drops into the 30s. I thought it was going to run worse, honestly. But hey, we have the LSS also. So, okay, mesh quality, we're going to increase it to high. DLSS on quality. Let's see what happens with that. This, we put it on high. And that's basically it. Let's see how DLSS fares. Okay, not too bad. The edges look pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good with the LSS. Yeah, the three gigabyte texture is just a name. It doesn't mean it's using three gigabytes of VRAM. Let's see what happens if I enable ray tracing. Oh, I have to go to the main menu. Ugh. Okay, let me see if I put some stuff on medium. There's many options to not have medium for some reason. It's either high or low. What the hell? <laughs> That's funny. Let's see. Let's call this mid low. Yeah, I'm going to combat. Give me one sec because I'm trying to figure this out. Yeah, it was barely an improvement to performance. Maybe 5 FPS more. Hmm. Okay. 50 something FPS, but if I go to high, what happens? Okay, high settings. I'm going to increase it, the texture quality to high 3 gigabytes because why not? At this point, <laughs> I got nothing to lose. Yeah, I mean, the frame rate is almost the same. My strength. 
and endeavor yeah, sure. to survive every battle I'll being hire you. to serve. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. Very Another well. time. May fortune. Okay, so there's a very very small improvement. So I think I'll just start playing just on high and play with the resolution. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for DLSS. Let's put it on balanced. Let's see if we can hit 60s. So far it looks solid. But let's try to get 60s. Okay, it's having a hard time getting there. At least in towns. And here I'm already seeing that we are kind of CPU limited. A couple cores are almost maxed out. But we're GPU limited too, so let's continue. Okay, outside, we're GP limited, no surprises. So you're not getting 60s with this GPU, I think. Yeah, I'll do 1440p in a minute, be patient. Let's get into some combat. <laughs> is it YouTube or does the game just look bad? No, it looks pretty good. The thing is, there's a lot of small details that with YouTube compression, it's even worse. But man, it's rough. I mean, when it comes to performance in the other cards, on this one, I mean, no considering how it runs on the PlayStation us. 5, I like how it runs on this card. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. But we'll see once we get into actual combat. And I'm not going to even... <laughs> Talk about ray tracing yet. I mean, the RE engine, oh, as you guys were saying disposal. at the start. I pray can I hire you? Aid your cause. Hell yeah. It will be an honor to serve by your. Perfection. So as I was saying, the other RE Engine games were not open world games, except in, well, maybe Resident Evil Village. They were like constrained hub areas. This is completely open, but who knows? At this point, <laughs> anything could happen. Look around Melv. When the Arisen... I just hope they do some patches to the game. Probably. Yeah, village was semi-open world. If you see some of the maps, you are going through a corridor. Okay, combat. Yeah, I mean, the GPU is doing its job. The thing is, the CPU is not causing me any problems as of yet. Oh, this looks good. Okay, finally. This is probably something from the past. Retreat! It's test over 30. But 60s is not a possibility for this card. Oh, I cannot pause the game here. Okay. Yeah, the dragon doesn't even care that I'm trying to cut him. This is just like the first one that you fight a dragon and you have no chance against them. Okay, kill me already.
I wish this game was... Maybe this was made using when they had for Until Dawn. Until Dawn? No. Deep Down? Oh, okay. That was what was supposed to happen. I'll try 1440p. Be patient. I'm trying to get somewhere. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, the dragon stole my heart. I can relate to that. Thank goodness. This is the second time. I'll wait for more patches. Unless you have Isn't it? Pray. After unless you have like a 4070 Ti or something like that. I'm sorry to hear that. Great but it all depends on what you special. expect. If you're expecting 60s, it seems to be pretty difficult already on the GPU. On the CPU, I have no idea because the GPUs that I tried the ruler of are, if you have a very so hard time hitting 60 in this game. I would not come to think of it. May have now would be a so if you have a good GPU, I'll get it. Looks pretty good. But this card is not going to hit 60s. At least not on 1080p. Let me try... Instead of DLSS, let's try interlace rendering. Yeah, not so different. Do you think this one's really arisen? It looks pretty good though with interlace sometimes. Until you start look closely and well. Okay, what about performance DLSS? What does it ha what does happen at that point? Climb. After you, arisen. Yeah, even on performance CLSS, it's not even close to 60. I mean, right now, if I had to choose, I'll just play Horizon Forbidden West. It runs significantly better. It's a huge open world as well. It's a different theme, of course, but it runs way better than this. So while you wait for this to be patched and to be discounted, play for Green and West. Let me try a very, very aggressive resolution change. But my CPU is not being the limiting factor as of right now. My limiting factor at the moment is the graphics card. So as a worst case scenario, we just put 720p with DLSS performance. That is a pretty low resolution. And that should give us 60s. And if that's not possible, that means we have a CPU bottleneck. Whatever I might have hmm. do. Well, I think we got a CPU bottleneck somewhere. But my GPU is still maxed out. I'm so confused. What the hell? I'm at 720p. <laughs> will be ashamed to return empty what i think this game is not designed around 60. maybe that's why on the consoles there's no 6 fps option or simply purchase some i mean i'm not getting anywhere close let me try i'm on interlaced as well rune's apothecary here in melv yeah I'm hitting 60 when looking at the ground. Seems to be on the edge of CPU bottleneck. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing it to be bottleneck by the CPU right now. But it's just weird. I mean, if I go back to 1080... Let me go back to 1080... So 1080 with the same thing. Instead of the 50s, we get 10... F yeah, we get like 5 frames less. That doesn't make any sense at all. I jumped from 720p to 1080p I, and I got like 5 frames. Something doesn't add up. So what I would do in this case, honestly, is just 
play at 1080p with quality DLSS. Increase the sharpness a little because it's a little bit soft. And play on high settings. Not much more to say. I mean, yeah, look at that. I wish there was DLAA. But as you can see, I mean, the changes in performance with the resolution decrease is almost non existent. I'm going to try ray tracing, yeah. Just to see how it plummets my frame rate. But I gotta go back to the main menu. Yeah, I mean, on the CPU side, I seem to be fine, but I have a very good CPU. So let's just enable ray tracing and let's see what happens. I'm guessing it's going to be, it's going to perform worse, obviously. We were into the 40s, upper 40s, let's see now. Shall we go and speak with Sir Lennart? Okay, it looks a little bit different, but it doesn't seem to be a huge impact in performance. The one you seek. The Vanguard is yours. So the game doesn't Be seem gone. to care what I'm doing. Okay, it drops into the 30s now. Still, that's like a 10 FPS drop with ray tracing on versus off. I was expecting the frame rate to be like one FPS, but no. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. You get what's coming to you. So yeah, that's pretty interesting actually. Not much going on. It's just indirect lighting. RTGI, ray trace global illumination, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I can see the difference right away. And the performance hit is not so big, honestly. I mean, very, very small difference. Oh, interesting. I didn't know this. That's pretty cool. I am attentive and loyal and prefer yeah, sure. to remain by your side. I'll buy you. My party's full. Okay. Him is better than Where is it? Let's not dismiss no one. Let's go back. Let's leave the rift. We are getting 120 FPS, 1440p with a 3900K and a 4090. Good. What am I to do? Good to know. But that should be like that. On that system, it should be like that at 4K, not at 1440p. I mean, your debt. Now tell me, are you? Perhaps you already know this. Well, now that go on. Twill. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. At close range, however, a bow is nary more useful than a walking stick. Should you dedicate your try them as you like. Very well. There is no. But I shan't take up any more. Okay. Moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. They do say good things come to those who wait. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village. I mean, the game looks good. The watchhead's waiting for you. We made you can clearly notice that it's an RE engine game and it's going to a similar visual style to the original. 
But the fact that I cannot drop the resolution super low, like a jackass, and hit 60s, doesn't make any sense to me. What do you guys think? Shall we go to him? I believe I can guide you to the person in question. Ah, you've returned. Good time. First and foremost, my thanks. Are you ready? To Good. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm the only one that is not wearing armor. Let me check if I have anything. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> We are none of us alike in vocation. It is a tad yeah, I'm doing 1440p in a sec. I want to be in a fight. Have no means of enemy's weakness. There's no lock on system, it seems. Okay, they're all dead. I say it. We trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Okay, there's a lot of them. Attack! Prepare yourself. Even with ray tracing, it's fine so far. Let's do 1440p. So, guys, 60 frames not happening on this card. Oh, I need to restart the game because I screwed up. I screwed up the resolution. Hold up. Let's reboot the game very quickly. I forgot that my screen was capped at 1080 for other reasons <laughs> don't worry that's 1440p dragon stock my two i'm going to keep ray tracing enabled i think it's not a huge performance hit it's like 10 frames it's a big hit yeah but still i don't know if that's 37 you can do that jack can maybe once I see the 3060 in action, we'll, we'll know for sure. One thing that I did know for sure is that lowering the settings didn't seem to matter, like, at all. Yeah, this replaces the ambient occlusion. Whatever. 1440p. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. 1440p. Hi, DLSS. Let's keep it on quality. Who cares? And ray tracing, really, I don't think it's necessary. It looks nice. I don't know. The performance impact is not, good. It's not great, so... Yeah, whatever. Let's continue. Yeah, all the specs are in the description, guys. Let's see if we can maintain 30s, otherwise ray tracing has to go. See guys, it runs very similar. I was in the 40s at 1080p here, now I'm in the 30s. I lost 10 frames. Although the game looks way sharper than before, which is a big plus. Yeah, I'll get to the city, don't worry. I'm trying to advance. Oh, those burbs. I hate them. Freaking burbs! Let's continue. 
Yeah, it looks way better now on YouTube. That's because this stream is at 1440p and I'm rendering the game at 1440p. The more pixels, the better I can do. Although there is some frame time spikes that I cannot explain. Can I break this? I don't think so. Oh, never mind. There we go. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Yeah, it's not that bad, the frame time, but it's still has some, how to say, and up and downs. I prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Yeah. And thank you so much to Shiny X Shady Boy <laughs> for the two dollar donation. He says, "Will it run good on an RTX 3070? 60 FPS out of town? Out of the town? Probably possible on 1080p without ray tracing. Inside the town, I have no idea. But again, thanks for the donation." Once I get to the 3060, you should be able to more or less know. I'm guessing you'll be like 10 frames ahead of my 3060 content. Okay, let's see. So is this the town or am I going somewhere else? Okay, there's a town here. Which I cannot access. <laughs> I'll gather this. It might be of use. Yeah, I mean, it's very GPU heavy. <sighs> Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could but I gotta say, the game looks pretty good. And use them when an ox cart with. Bermond is the town city. Am I, am I away from it? No, it's none of those. Oof. Excavation site. This is where I started. Please tell me I'm not far away from it. Please. Yeah, man, cannot wait to play this on Nintendo 64. Okay, let's follow this guy. How do you think an i5-9400 will do? For 30 FPS, it should do it. That we can't share Anything over that, I have no idea. Although, if you look at my threads there, it's not using all of them. Multiple of them, actually the, the E-cores are at 0%. Is everyone alright? More marks of the dragon's fu- Where's the Switch version? Rewind to the 1050 Ti footage. That's the Switch version. You must cleanse yourself of that oil post haste. Oh, hi there. Attack! Spitfire! Can I see waterfall and river? I mean, sure, why not? But not a bit. Efficiency at its best. Would the Efficiency at its best. Be so instead, eh? Yeah, yeah. There's the waterfall. Here's the river. 
And you can actually see the screen space reflections. In this game are pretty subtle actually. It is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials. Yeah, this is the RE engine. I'm guessing it's a next gen RE engine version. I don't know really. We'll see. We gotta follow this guy still. Carry Engine was not made for this. It was made to make Resident Evil games. Anything that is not Resident Evil is not an RE Engine proper. <laughs> I agree. RE Engine means Resident Evil Engine, not Reach for the Moon Engine. That was BS. Oof. I mean, visually the game looks pretty good. It's not for a realistic or anything. But it looks good. The thing is, the performance in many occasions do doesn't make sense. I can lower the resolution to 720p and and DLSS performance, and the game doesn't care. It just it just gives me five frames more. Yeah, I love Resident Evil 4. Hell yeah, I'm a man of culture. But it doesn't seem to be. A CPU issue first, unless you have a, a big GPU. So far I didn't have CPU limitations. Because again, I don't have a big enough GPU to attest to that. By getting 60s, so far, impossible. So that smells like CPU limitation, but I'm not entirely sure. Can you test by turning it off that for feel? That's I already tried it. It doesn't matter. Memory bandwidth? Maybe. There's a guy running up a wall there for some reason. Sir, what are you doing? Oh. He was supposed to die. Okay. Let's see, effects on screen, please. I need you on screen, effects. There we go. Finally, action. I love that you can climb on enemies. Man, I'm here playing Shadow of the Colossus, Capcom Edition. Oof. Oh, Williams is about to die. Is a console version of this game at stable 30? Not stable 30. So far, I didn't have any problems hitting 30s with this card, even at 1440p. Hit it in the ass! There we go, yeah, the console version is uncapped 30, uncapped 60, but not stable 30. Especially when combat happens. I mean, person, how the grass moves with everything. The physics of the grass, pretty cool.
You have my gratitude. I had taken you for another false arrest. Yet the value you showed, give it to one of the sen- You're free to make- of Yeah, 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 yeah. Drug. Well now, the road's blocked. A powerful current ought to- Can I just destroy this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for the 3060 now. <laughs> Hang on. I wasn't expecting that to work. That was pretty funny. Oh my. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Yes, please. Let me to the low FPS city. Very well. Board the ops cart. Craig, okay. Allow me to open your chest. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Okay, can sleep until we get there. Goblins! What rotten luck! Low Did FPS city, it? yeah, I mean that's how they called it. Oh, do I need to get up to get those goblins? Okay, here we're dropping frames, actually. Okay, this is a part where I would say DLS DLS. Where I would say Turn off ray tracing. Your enemies have thrown a number. This battle's end. This game will be really nice in a couple of generations. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait to brute force my way through it. Are we in low FPS city yet? No? Okay, this is taking forever. Alright, let me save and let me disable ray tracing super quick. So is this Starfield part 2 performance wise? Kinda, I would say. I mean, visually the game looks good, unlike Starfield, in my opinion. Just turn off ray tracing. Let's see if this helps us in the part we were at right now. Your disappointment for Capcom right now is immeasurable with this game. Due to the performance, I mean, right? Okay, yeah, it made a difference. Guys, keep ray tracing off. Goblins, master. I mean, it does look better with ray tracing on. But in this case, it helps stay at 30 FPS. Must we run everywhere? At least this seems to be a good game, unlike Starfield. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? <laughs> yeah, 90 FPS on the map, 30 when you're playing. Oh, boulders. Where is Chris? Chris Redfield, is that you? Please tell me I can punch boulders. Chris! Oh. That was cool. The city seems to be very far away, definitely. Is that the city? Here though, with a higher draw distance, oh, there's a, a dead troll over there. Yeah, here it drops. 
when looking into the distance. This or Elden Ring? Right now, if we're talking about gameplay, Elden Ring. Although I, I enjoy this over Souls like. I don't have a camping kit. I'm poor. So for this one, I will keep it on balance DLSS actually. So DLSS balanced. And play like this. You play online at the moment? No. But 60s. Not even think about it. <laughs> it's not happening. Oof. Be more careful. Be more to know your limits. Okay. So yeah, that's my advice. On the 3050, do 1080p, highest settings, you'll be fine, you should be over 30 all the time. 1440p, go for DLSS balanced and enjoy the game at 30 FPS. And that's basically it. Oh, es que Hiro me ganaría todas las veces, mono banana. Okay, I went back here because I wanted to check something. Know that I would be glad to purchase any of your unwanted items. If ever you need of an ear to listen, you. I came all the way back here just to test something. Yeah, more complex. Closer to thirty. We shall have to find a way to reach it. So I'm guessing the bigger city is going to be a problem. That's all right. Okay. So let's swap to the thirty sixty. And I got an error message for some reason. You do have a 4070 Ti, why not test it? I have it on my main computer, but uh, the issue is my <laughs> my benchmark computer doesn't cannot run it. It's too much. I'll explain that in a moment. So I don't have a good enough power supply for the 4070 Ti inside this computer. So I'll need to put my capture card inside of the of this computer you're seeing, and on my main computer record record the footage for my main computer. Let me show. You. See that uh, case? Well, the entire GPU covers the case. The GPU is standing on a fan at the front of the case. <laughs> That's how large the 4070 Ti is. It's ridiculous. So that doesn't fit in this case. So yeah, sometimes big doesn't mean better. Yeah, the GPU is the case. I have a computer, I have a GPU with a computer in it. The GPU now is the computer. <laughs> yeah, modern GPU coolers are Money grabs. But hey, as long as your GPU fits, it's all good. Try medium VRAM texture 2 gigs. Okay, I'll, I can try. Yeah, I can live in there. 
No, I'm not overclocking the Steam Deck. That's pretty uncommon for most people. I just know it's going to run poorly. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's compiling shaders. So as I was saying, if you guys are interested, I can put the capture card in my benchmark computer and my main computer record it from there and do 4070 Ti testing, but that takes a, that takes a long time. I mean, I can stream it also, but that would take, it would be a pain in the ass to move it around. Let's just leave it at that. I have a lot of rubble inside the computer, let's say, but I could do it. The thing is, I don't think my content is geared towards 4070 Ti powered GPUs. You're scared of the Steam Deck might explode and cause Ch Chernobyl? Well, I will be famous if that happens, right? Gave and my Steam Deck ca caught fire. Give me five. Give me five OLED Steam Decks. Switch four of this game when? <laughs> it's called Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's the switchboard of this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chernobyl in Latin America. Okay, our re engine. <coughs> Dragon's Dogma 2. All right, so moment of truth, we're going to see if 60 FPS is possible. Let's find out. Again, we're playing on high because that's basically the highest it goes, apparently. DLSS, let's disable it for now. But let's crank all this because we can do it. The shadows I don't think are worth cranking up in our re-engine games, but we're removing the distortion and that's on the motion blur. So let's try it like that. Yeah, the mesh quality I can lower it a little. Let's keep it on high to be consistent. And let's see if we can actually get anywhere close. Yeah, carísimo juego. Eh, bueno, banana, comí sí, pero estoy muerto de hambre todo el día de hoy. Okay. So in here we're getting 40s. This is native. So no DLSS applied. Okay. So no DLSS. I'm in a small town. Let's see, quality DLSS. We jump from the 40s to the 50s. So you know what? I'm going to try something else. Let's try interlace rendering. Which should be even an even lower resolution. It's a different engine, that's why Horizon looks and runs better. Okay, so that wasn't enough. Let's do 720p. Now for real. 720p with interlaced mode. So if now it doesn't hit 60s, there's something wrong. Because there's no reason for the GPU to not be able to in this case. And thank you again shiny x shady boy for the two dollar donation he says i can't believe i'm praying for 60. <laughs> i agree okay there there it hit 60. i enjoy tackling fierce foes how the hell combats thrills to get 
Are you kidding me? 720p interlace rendering. So this is 860 by 720. What the hell is wrong with this game? Yeah, let me lower those textures to 2 gigabytes. I don't think that will make a difference, but I... Yeah, no, barely an improvement. That's, that's insane. What the hell is going on here? Hang on, I need to dig further. Let's go to the lowest settings. This doesn't make any sense at all. What the hell, Capcom? Okay, everything on the lowest. And let's disable interlace rendering just for now. Let's do native 720p. Imagine that. 720p low. Okay, now I'm into the 70s. Neat. Okay, now we climb to 1080p. Okay, 1080p low. Okay, 60. What's next? Let's try textures on 2 gigabytes. Let's see if that's an issue. No, it's okay. Let's see. It's probably the draw distance. Let's see if the shadows, the contact shadows, the depth of field, the bloom, the subsurface scattering, everything except in shadows and grass and texture filtering. Reflections. Ooh. Okay. So the only thing I didn't crank up is shadows, tree quality, and mesh quality. Let's see. There we go. I think I got I got the trick. Still into the sixties now. But what happens if I increase the shadows to high? Okay, there is when I start dropping settings. So the shadows destroy the frame rate. So we drop to 55. Let's see what happens now. Grass tree quality, instead of 55, we get. We still get 55. Only shadows made a difference. And last but not least, mesh quality. Instead of 55, we get. 53, 54. Interesting. So it seems to be mostly the shadows. Yeah, the rest is all cranked up. Interesting. Shadows is the only difference. Let's see everything on high and shadows on low. Yeah. Okay, the shadow draw distance is absolute trash, but it works. Because if I max out shadows, yeah, I drop into the 40s. So it's a shadow issue. Okay, interesting. Good discovery we got there. So see all these settings, just tweak the shadows. Maybe medium makes them a little bit more variable. Okay, shadows, so medium looks good. We are in the mid 50s instead of the 40s. 
and we add DLSS quality. That should do its job. Okay. Ooh. Took some rage, but here we are. So it was only the shadows. Why, why do I keep the shadows on medium? Because on low they look like absolute trash. Okay, best settings, everything on high, shadows on medium. A treasure chest. Hey yo, we've had to start sending. Is that so? Although Double it's using four of my uh, cores at eighty to ninety percent. What? what? This is the first I'm saying. You see, I suppose it was a bit. Let's see outside. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our face. Now fight. Try not to get hit. Get ready for the next battle. Bad. No, I'm not using lossless scaling. Screw that. I usually lose frames with lossless scaling. It's kind of funny. Let's continue ahead. Not compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Will 4060 run better? It should be a little bit better, yeah. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, may I say. When are you going to test Final Fantasy 15? Rage 1 and 2 on Steam Deck? Soon. Yeah, the key is shadows. What's your CPU? It's in the description. It's a modern 13th Gen i5. Let us defer to the arisen judgment. But it's interesting how shadows affect the performance so much because no matter how low I put the resolution, if I didn't lower the shadows, the game didn't care. Print some desert, I don't even want to know how that would run. Sounds like an eggman. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. And try 1440p, low everything. Yeah, I'll do 1440p now. It shouldn't be a huge difference when it comes to performance. Because the game doesn't seem to care. With some DLSS balanced, we should be good to go. Also, the Steam Deck video will be very short. Considering what I'm seeing here, man. So again, settings, everything on the highest, excepting shadows. Keep those on medium. Okay, there we go. Some drops into the 50s, but again, it's way faster than PS5. <laughs> Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Uh, can this run on the Wii? Yes, it does, but it's a secret. Don't tell so anyone. The scars you didn't hear it from me. Oh, okay, here's the part that the dragon shows up. That's perfect. 
yeah, just by lowering shadows you get a greater experience. But the game is still super demanding. And something is definitely broken if only the shadows don't allow me to improve performance even by lowering the resolution significantly. Alright, let's see. Fire! Okay, here is when it drops, when effects show up. But now we're playing at 1440p, so... Considering what I saw before, I'm more impressed now. I'll keep hitting him. Okay, there we go. Uh, 3700x is much slower. But it should still be fine for this to hit 60s if your GPU you can do me, it. Sir. Sir. Yeah, effects are crazy demanding on this one. But there's no effects option. Finally Thank enough. Goodness. This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? Pray. You have my thanks. I know you suffered for it. I'm sorry to hear that. I remember nothing. You must be special. Here, take an Uber. Have you tried this on the 1050 Ti? Yes, I did, and I wasn't disappointed. If you claim the same, I dispatched a. Would you be willing to a call? But I would not come to think. Mayhap now would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let us speak with everyone we can think of who might know or to use. Yeah, in towns it still drops though. Oh no, I'm not lost. I'm an apothecary. So when I have, well, it will be a So at 1440p. Suppose there's not else. Expect drops in towns into the 40s sometimes. This is a small town, so imagine in a bigger one. But you can either destroy the shadows. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us. Or lower the resolution further somehow. Well met. She told me all about I'm in your debt. Now tell me. Perhaps you already well, Yeah, VRM now, usage is fine. We are we have 12 gigs. No vacation very well. But I shan't take up. So this is where you've been. A simple conversation oft reveals what a week of searching never could. Whom shall we speak with first? Uh, NPC is too well rendered. Classico. If I kill all the NPCs, the FPS will go up. 60% of the time it works every time. Ah, you've returned. First and foremost, but for this, I would say 1080p is the better option if you want to stick closer to 60. It won't be perfect, but there we are. At least at 1440p, the game looks pretty good when it comes to edges and all that. They're still popping, and there's still drops into the 50s at 1440p. But you're not going to drop below 30 like a PlayStation 5, that's for sure. Are we leaving already? 6750 XT? Yeah, it should be fine. I love how the foliage reacts to my movement. Come on, use the fire, main pawn. Yeah, I love how the grass moves. That's so cool. Would you recommend this game with the current performance? No, I'll wait for a sale. I mean, look at the shadow quality I have to do to get 60 so now 30 60. I don't know. I don't think it's at the moment worth buying just for the performance. I mean, you can make it run pretty good, but something doesn't make sense when it comes to the settings. Because I can lower the resolution to 720p and the game doesn't care, it'll still drop into the 40s, sometimes. 
So I'd say wait for a sale or get Horizon Forbidden West. Which is a completely different game. But you can also play the original. In the meantime. Yeah, I don't consider the 3060 low end. It's a solid card. Of course, it's not the best card out there. But no, definitely not low end. Low end is like a 1650, 3050. 50 because of the price is garbage, but wake me up. I wish the 3050 was way cheaper. So so it would make sense. But the 3050 shouldn't be slower than a 2060. Mark my words. Yeah, guys, is that a statue, I today is the Horizon Forbidden this West Day. I cannot be sure. While I like what this game is offering, the performance doesn't justify. I mean, it looks good, don't get me wrong, but... After playing Horizon Forbidden West on this same computer... I mean, this performance is oh, unexcusable. I know it's completely different that the Horizon Forbidden West runs on PlayStation 4. Who's that you've brought with you? Whatever. And the thing is, at least it should make sense that when I lower the resolution, I should have a performance increase. All's been arranged. <laughs> when the 50 series comes out, it will be low end. Yeah, definitely. An ox cart. Oh yes, please have. Oof. <laughs> I want a cart. Where's the cart? I shall take a look inside. I was sick to play in the character creation for this game, yeah. And once you can buy the game for a cheaper price, you can use the character that you built. This is broken. Oh, never mind. No longer broken. Let's leave the rift. No, 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 no. Tengo que prepararlas bien. Is everyone all right? Yeah, we're right. We're right, mate. Does RT make a massive difference? It's noticeable, but I don't think it's worth using right now. It's global illumination. It looks pretty good, but if you're not looking at it side by side, the game is still fine. Come on, main pawn. Use fire! Claro que hablo español, Iván. Soy de Uruguay. <laughs> Zero Dawn even looks better than... Well, okay, that's stretching it a little bit much. Eh, sí, juega. Juego en alto, pero con sombras en medio. Y ya está. It's the only thing that matters. Guys, if you have anything higher than a 3060, play it on high. The only thing that made a difference for me on performance has been the shadow quality. Just put it on medium shadows. 
and you should be good to go. Mira ese juego, que disfrutes. Okay, can we continue now? Enough. I love that they just run around. Imagine in the Middle Ages, going full armor, just running in the middle of the, in the middle of the wilderness. I mean, it probably happened, but not like this. Imagine all the sweat. Here we go again. Okay, my friends here are not helping out. What TPR are you using? It's all in the description. All the details are down there. Enough. Okay, these two atoms, cool. There's too many of them. Me, or Tana Wares, I would never be so careless. I must admit that it feels wonderful to Whoops. strike through. I fell asleep. Oh, there's a frame gen mode. Yeah, this game needs it urgently. I mean it shouldn't need it, but <laughs> the game should run w good in the first place, I guess. Okay. Let's continue up ahead. That was hard one. We were overconfident in our abilities. Painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. Spike to the face. Hang on, I'm going to open this chest. This one's tough. Thanks for dying. Okay, let's continue. Tal cual, mono. <laughs> Alright. Since when I'm not in a city location, I get 60 plus. When I'm in a location with a lot of NPCs, it drops to 50 or lower. Yeah. Have you tried lowering shadows? For some reason, that did the trick for me. Been in the city or not? Up through the cracks here. That does not load well. There we go. Destruction. Oh, and this guy again. Okay, guys, I think I had enough. For now before I jump into the Steam Deck thing because I'm going to try it on Steam Deck of course I need to talk to you about the options menu 
on the performance and all that good stuff. So give me one moment. I'm going to schedule the other live stream that I'm going to do in a few minutes. There we go. It'll be here just after this one. So don't worry. <laughs> You're going to be redirected. No need to touch anything. So yeah, rip Steam Deck probably. But that's okay to be expected after all this. So what did I find out by the time I've been playing this game? Well, if you don't lower the shadows to medium or low, if I lower the resolution, the game doesn't care. <laughs> so make sure that the shadows are medium or low. Low looks horrible, medium looks okay. Then these other things didn't make much of a difference for me in performance. What else? Well, the DLSS thing, again, if shadows are not on medium or low, it doesn't make much of a difference. If you're increasing the resolution, DLSS does help. So for the 3060, I would say balanced DLSS at 1440p, maybe SSAO instead of the other one. The meshes, you can put them on medium. And basically, like you see right now, it'll still drop below 60, but not as much. If you want to be closer to 60, low shadows. Then at 1080p, put everything on high, but shadows on medium and DLSS on quality, and you should be good to go. But so far, it, it's in this work, definitely. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully Capcom improves this as time goes on because this needs work. I mean, the game looks nice, whatever. It might be a good game. But on the surface, I cannot recommend it at its current state. There's definitely a mixed bag over here when it comes to performance. Mostly negative, of course. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. No FOB slider, constant dips below 60, microtransactions. <laughs> they put microtransactions too. Oh my God. Internet, you can boost FPS by killing NPCs. <laughs> Man. Sixties dogma. Not to wood dogma again. Anyway, that's my review for the game. So let's check it out on Steam Deck. So one sec, we're going to jump into the Steam Deck right away. So one second, I'll see you there, guys. Yeah, RE Engine needs work for open world stuff. So be right back. Thanks, guys. See you on the Steam Deck live stream in a few minutes from now. Love you all. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs>